points, dog. You know what I'm saying? Undisputable points. Straight up. You made undisputable points. And that's real talk. You understand? So I'm gonna try to uh I'm getting my little coffee together. You feel me? Because I'm gonna I'm ready to turn up. I'm a, you know, uh uh I ain't gonna even get air. Hey, uh, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna let y'all niggas go get y'all some water. Cause I know your forehead is got sweat running down it and shit. You understand? Go get you some water and get those you can take you a leak or two. You understand? And I'm gonna be ready to go in five minutes. Flat out. I ain't gonna even hold it up. You know, when you come in like that, you just bop, 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 and go straight into a nigga. You know what I'm saying? I ain't gonna let none of that fire die down. So go on get you, go on get your, uh, you know, your little snacks and shit. You know, and then go on use the bathroom, whatever you got to do. Be back here in five minutes, cause I'm about to. Re I'm ready to go to work. That's right. And so, uh, I got the camera on you. So okay. whenever you come back and you get ready to go, it's already set. All right, bro. Thanks. Yep. Shit, <clears throat> though, my nigga. Yep, that's love. All right, family. Let me let y'all know what. Let me. I mean, excuse me. Let me know what y'all thinking in the chat. Uh, till the general come back. Let me know. You know how that uh lecture affected y'all, how y'all feeling about that, and uh, you know, let me know. Let me know. That's how you knock a motherfucker head right off, <laughs> and that's life. See, I'm trying to run up in the university. Whenever they ready, you know what I'm saying. They've been playing, but you know they they push. They push shit until niggas catch up to it. Right. They ain't ready. They ain't ready to sit out there no more. You know what I'm saying? And, and debate nobody, especially nobody. And if they do, they want you to be docile to the point where you ain't really, you know, you ain't really digging in their chest like you need to be. Cause right. I don't give a fuck how they feel because you done got away with over, you know. Three, you know, 300 motherfucking, 400 motherfucking years of running the goddamn shit down. And so I understand because, you know, we want to keep our shit up. You know what I'm saying? We sometimes, we had, in order for the, the people to get it. But even then, sometimes they don't want to let it fly. You yeah. understand what I'm saying? Because the reality is, it's all about white supremacy. You yeah. understand what I'm saying? And the reason, and I'm, I'm going into the shit anyway. The reason why they could justify keeping us where we at today is because they teach it that we mentally degenerate, uh, uh, naturally inferior, and it's not on them why we in the condition we in. Exactly. It's a natural, you know, it's a natural uh, reality for us, and so they could keep us here forever. See the nigga, see how he doing. You know what I'm saying? And then the thing is, I'm going to bring up, eventually that's going to be the basis for them motherfuckers to exterminate us, which they did in fucking Germany. You know what I'm saying? We we done done all we could do. These niggas is so fucking dumb that it's best to exterminate them. And so that's basically what eugenics was doing. You know what I'm saying? And so until niggas destroy that, you know, niggas talking about reparations, but that's another reason why, because they say if they can control the history, when they came to Africa, they said niggas was rolling around in the motherfucking dirt, throwing mud pies. Nigga had on the thong with a goddamn bone in his nose. And if he could tell you that's where, how he found you, if he give your ass a job at motherfucking McDonald's, he did you a favor. Exactly. You understand what I'm saying? We got to we got to look at this shit, man. We're gonna have to hit a we're gonna have to hit a little live stream on your channel too, just to touch on the just to touch on them points. We need to. Yeah. We need to whenever, bro. You know how we do shit. Whenever you ready, let me know. You know what I'm saying? But it's a lot of shit niggas not talking about. You know what I'm saying? And we got to talk about that. You know, the prison system. That's eugenics. That's right. That's eugenics. Like they had, they, you know, because I was looking and I didn't start. You know what I'm saying? Basically, I didn't start. And we, I just start, you know, looking at the motherfucking thing because when they started the fucking eugenics shit, you know, they was using cold words because they didn't want to come out 
and say exactly what the fuck it was that they was doing. So they were used feeble minded, criminally inclined and shit. You know what I'm saying? And so that ain't nothing but the setup saying we didn't did, you know, this is the motherfucking natural state. The reason why we lock it, they not saying they starving us. You understand what I'm saying? Right. They not saying they starving us and, 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 and you know, and, and we doing whatever we can to survive out here. They saying, nigga, we uh, naturally uh, got a propensity to be criminals and the best that they could do is lock our motherfucking ass up like they doing. Exactly. So we got to deal with that shit, man. Straight up. We got to deal with that. Even, you know, you know, it's, it's a lot of shit that we got to deal with. They're murdering us. You know, by them saying that we got, you know, we naturally, you know, they even say we sexually, you know, you know, you know, got a propensity to be, oh, I got an over sex drive and shit. And so we rape and shit and this, that. We got a propensity to rape. You understand what I'm saying? That's why they show niggas, you know, they got cartoons where the nigga, you know, lusting after white women and all that shit, this, that, and the third. You understand? So that can get them the justification to shoot our ass down. They've been doing the lynch our ass, running niggas out of the town and shit. I was looking at the other, you know, if you didn't see, uh, watch that motherfucking documentary. Uh, what was the name of that shit? God damn it. And it was talking about how these crackers was running niggas clean out of whole counties. Damn. Sure enough, nigga, you got to go. Taking they motherfucking land. You understand what I'm saying? I forget that I was I just put that shit up. And they did a documentary of running and, and the motherfucker that was doing the research was going over how it was whole counties down in the south. Didn't have one black, you know, but historically there was blacks there. And they wondering what the fuck happened. And the motherfuckers went banished. That's the name of that's the name of the, the banish. And they goes down there, do the read. They got the shit in the newspaper where these motherfuckers told all the black, get the fuck out of here before we kill your ass. Then left millions and millions and millions of acres, nigga, that they done ran us up off of. What the fuck is we gonna go get reparations and shit like that? We can't even defend the shit we got. That's a very serious motherfucking question. When he ready. You can have whatever you want. When he get ready to come and take your shit, he can do that because he willing to pull the Joker card, which means he pulling out them things. He pulling out them things on your ass, okay? And he don't give a fuck about no rules to the game because it's all about power and staying in power. He didn't come over here to be no righteous advocate or no... Give it, let me look out for you. And motherfucker, get your ass over here. Bail this motherfucking hay. Don't you say a motherfucking word. Do what I tell you to do. Anything less than, less than that, your ass going up in a tree. And so until black people can build up enough motherfucking uh, ability to defend themselves outside of this man, you understand? Anything that they he can come take that shit any motherfucking time he want. And that's exactly what they did. In many instances, you had great black civil, you know, black communities that were thriving. You understand what I'm saying? On their own fucking energy. And when and, and there go that eugenics, there go that monkey shit, because he taught that we was inferior. It was a must that any time they seen any independent black communities doing superior things, he had to destroy it because that was speaking against the motherfucking inferiority complex in evolution and eugenics. That's right. exactly what he was doing. You know what I'm saying? I didn't got started, dog. Okay. I ain't got started. I'm just talking with you, bro. I'm about to get started in two minutes. Get my... But the shit is crazy, man. The shit is crazy because we had some shit, even though it still wasn't what deserving. It was a lot of black people that had land in this motherfucker. You understand what I'm saying? So it ain't necessarily about giving us shit. What about the, you know, what about the shit that we know we had that you took? You know what I'm saying? You know, coming up, you know, and you owe us more than that. 
But goddamn, nigga, they done took so much that we know was ours, that we had built up after the motherfucking fact of slavery. We had already built these, you know, these communities up. And them bitches came in there with the clan and told every nigga, and they, and they meant every motherfucker, they say nigga, every motherfucker in the county moved because they was threatened with their life. And, and matter of fact, they showed it on the motherfucking documentary not long ago. Not long ago. They went down there and the, when niggas was going down there and called themselves going to march and shit in one of them goddamn counties down south. Man, as soon as them niggas got off the goddamn bus, the clan, the Aryan nation, and about three, no, about four, five other races, they was already waiting on their ass, throwing rocks, boo, 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 boo. And when you got the motherfucking the, the sheriff and the judge's best friends, goddammit, in their clan, what the fuck you think you going to get out of some situation like that? Okay. Nigga, you, they going to tell you, nigga, you ain't got no merit down here. Get you. And that's what they, even though they got all the documents, you understand what I'm saying? To verify they ran black people up out of there, they did every motherfucking thing and to say that you have no merit to try to get it back. You know, there's been, you know, people living on the land and the, and the shit they always say, where they didn't have nothing to do with it, this, that, and the third, what are we to do? Man, fuck that. You know what I'm saying? Fuck that. We, we, we can't keep falling for that. You know what I'm saying? We can't keep falling for that. But I'm about to get started. As soon as I get a couple of drinks, I'm about to jump right on into this shit, man. Cause it make me mad than a motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? We ain't got motherfucking shit, and we asking a motherfucker that we know damn well ain't gonna give a nigga nothing. He can't do that. He didn't bring niggas over here to give them no motherfucking nothing. They, he, when you understand the objective of what the fuck he brought us over here. You understand what I'm saying? Why in the fuck would he turn around and then give niggas something? He brought us over here to work for goddamn free. He didn't, and then he, didn't come, he didn't bring niggas over here to have families. He ain't bring niggas over here to have no households and beautiful families and shit like that. You know, that ain't even in the, in the crack of heart to even do no shit like that. You know what I'm saying? So we asking, we, we doing ourselves a disservice. Because first and foremost, you got to understand, you know, in the art of war, you got to understand who you are and understand who your enemy is. And if you got the misconception that he going to do something outside of his nature, you done already lost. You done already lost. You know what I'm saying? So you got to understand your, you have to understand who you are. You got to understand who your enemy is. And once you had that, you you can lay out the possibilities how to craft your blueprint for victory. But right there, niggas is so confused about just that alone. You know what I'm saying? And white people then basically said everything that to the point is that nigga, we don't give a fuck about you. Straight the fuck up. Don't ask me for shit. We got a couple of minimum wage jobs for you niggas. You better go out there and get that. Other than that, nigga, you got all these niggas with degrees. We about to do that economic thing. You know what I'm saying? We got, and, and black people don't understand, at the same time, we got more motherfucking degrees at any time in history, we still slated to have zero motherfucking wealth in damn near 10 years. And damn, really, in reality, we there not. You see what I'm saying? So that right there kills going to the motherfucking white man's school because you motherfuckers is really in no better condition than the nigga that ain't got the goddamn degree. You understand what I'm saying? If we got more motherfucking degrees at, than, than, at, at any other time in history, then you would think that at least that segment of motherfucking black community would be doing better and, you know, prospering. But that's a goddamn lie. Because at the end of the motherfucking day, you can have a degree. He still owns industry. You understand what I'm saying? He still. So in order for you to put that degree to work, that same white man got to give you a job. If he do not do that, 
your ass gonna be down there in the motherfucking line trying to get some help just like any other motherfucker in, in this community straight up and so we got to we got to come to the realization and again evolution they need a working plan you know to keep us where we at they needed a working plan and evolution and eugenic you know darwin came he he you know because the, the thing is they don't have no stake in creation you went over that he don't have no spirit i'm already in the lecture i'm gonna pull something up he don't have no spirit you see what i'm saying that's why you're not connected to the sun you disconnected from creation and so when the vampire look in the mirror he don't have no motherfucking reflection that means you disconnected from creation so you don't have no stake in spirituality and so they de despiritualize concepts about creation they needed a, a un, you know an unspiritual uh theory because they don't have no stick stake in spirituality That's you know right. what i'm saying and the one key thing is about oh. evolution is that evolution is by chance you know what i'm saying so if we came into existence by chance we don't have no soul we don't have no soul we don't have no spirit we don't have no salvation or none of that that comes with spirituality and divinity you see what i'm saying and so we're gonna let this man lead us to the motherfucking edge of of, of, of existence and shit and run us off the goddamn cliff disconnecting that and that's again why we you know how we accept eurocentric concept that disconnect us from our divinity you understand what i'm saying but so that's one of the reasons why he didn't have no state in a spiritual origin so we got to even get into the big bang even before we get into the silly shit about a nigga coming from a monkey and then what's even crazy the monkey came from a platypus the platypus came from a chameleon the goddamn chameleon came from a duck the duck came from a goddamn snail the snail came from a snot up under the goddamn water and then the water wasn't the water we know of the day you talking about a cosmic soup full of all goddamn kind of chemicals and shit this down in the third and if you drop that cosmic soup today your ass would die on the spot because it's poison yet they want to say that life emerged from a cosmic soup full of all type of chemicals and vapors that would kill any life on the goddamn planet if they breathed it or drunk it so that's ridiculous you see what i'm saying but we about to get off let me take a couple sips and i'm about to go in that's right. And look at look at look at look at the 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 the, the rhetoric behind that, y'all. How did li life came from an unsustainable source? Right. If the if the water was a primordial soup, aka a poison, how can it produce life? Because you, I was watching it then. You got to understand how did they got all the chemicals. Right. So, how did get in so the hydrogen being the first, and how did carbon and all the rest come out of hydrogen? You see what I'm saying? There's you got chemical evolution. Right. <laughs> evolution. And you got chemical evolution. You understand what I'm saying? Because now you got to show how the fuck all the goddamn elements and on the god and chemicals and uh, elements on the chart come out of hydrogen. You see what exactly. I'm saying? You got to show that you know what i'm saying so you know what let me get ready to go let me yeah. get your family in the, is they in the house dog yeah they in here snatch, snatch your niggas heads off immediately <laughs> <laughs> we got to get in there baby we got to show our people what's what's up <laughs> all right 10 9 8 7 6 5 4 3 2 one bah. here we go family black power if the general sara sul said that nigga pharaoh laid that shit out key points you know and i'm gonna try and i'm gonna come in on some some of the points and you know and it, you know add to that and then i'm gonna try to come around some corners you know what i'm saying that the brother did so we can have a broad perspective and not just you know you know, talking about the same thing, even though we're gonna cross some lines. 
You see what I'm saying? And so again, let me let me let me get some. You know, before I even come up, I got to deal with some time. No, I got to deal with some time. Yo, know, let me put this on down, man. Let me where the where the hell is my man latch? Let me get let me let me deal with my man latch. Boom boom. Here we go. Get that on up. Let me get that on up. We in the house, family. Y'all know how we do. Y'all know how we do. Got a platform been going on. You understand what I'm saying? This long. Now a lot of my, you know, I was typing a lot of shit in, so if my if my spelling ain't all, you know, together, excuse me. You know what I'm saying? Cause as ideas was coming to my mind and shit, you know, I uh I was just typing real quick. Let me go on and share my share my uh screen. And let me get my uh You know, and it's real, and this is real. You know what I'm saying? What we talking about today because I see it was a controversy over Gucci and shit putting that, you know, that sweater out. Then you have Prada putting some monkey shit out there. And niggas was so, uh, you know, faking like they was up in arms about the shit. Faking like it. But go to school, send their babies to school every motherfucking day. And the basis of the whole motherfucking curriculum is from an evolution, uh, eugenic, you know, scientific racism. And I'm going to even go over the fact that how many motherfucking fakes in science. So, nigga, you know, science is a religion. And see, again, the white man has made himself God. See, he ain't had no, I, I don't personally. Believe that there's no man sitting up in the sky waiting on a nigga prayers to come up so he can fulfill them. But I do I do believe in a consciousness, a divine supreme consciousness, because as we say, like produce like. OK, and so if we got consciousness, then, you know, whatever, you know, whatever we come out of also had to be conscious. Because like produce like. You understand what I'm saying? And we got to deal with that. See, we will discount the divine consciousness. We have discount what a European because he don't have he don't have no stake in creation. You don't have no pioneer. And and another thing we as Pharaoh said, that evolu evolution presupposes that creation is moving towards perfection all the time and that the imperfections are die out whether it's in the species or this that and the third and the you know the the most perfected state of that species at that time will will prevail and the imperfected uh, uh parts of the species will die out yeah because it's necessary in order for the species to move towards per perfection. You see what I'm saying? And so as they teaching it, I'm gonna show you the shit be right there in niggas face and they will not see it. Because even, I'm moving so fast that, but even when you see a, a, a evolution scale, they'll show you the monkeys, right? They'll show you the monkeys. And then they'll jump right to the white man. Now the question is, and I'm when I show you that, is going is you gonna say, hmm, why don't they show you if if it is the uh, 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 a cycle that you saying where monkeys evolve from? Why don't you see the African, the modern African, in the scale? You just see the monkeys, and then you see the white man. You see what I'm saying? You know why? Because they, you know, they, the you is the monkey. They're not telling you that. They're considering you the monkey. So when you look at the motherfucker, you don't see the overt racism in the motherfucker. You understand what I'm saying? And if he did put the black man, the modern black man or black woman 
before the white man that will prove hands down that we came before him. And he just don't want to say that. And he don't want to show you as a modern man because he's a modern man. He show you. See, they don't have to show the white man as monkey types because all the monkey types is black looking and shit. This, and, then, and I'm going to show you that's some, some racist shit. The same shit that they doing with the King Tuts and all of that shit where they making these fake molds and shit, they doing that on their own pre-consumption narrat racist narratives that they already have about the world. You cannot pick up no goddamn skull and put no clay on it and make it into what it originally was. You understand? The only time you could do that is you if it's a modern skull and say, for instance, somebody missing and you got some pictures of that motherfucker and then you kind of try to put them, you know, the clay on top of the skull to see if this could be who is in the picture. They are not telling you that that is a fake science, and many people don't even consider for a cynic of facial reconstruction to be a science. They consider that shit to be art, not science. And I'm gonna show you all the shit that you know that they not able to do, and you know, and you know, putting skin color in skin, showing what type of hair is on the motherfucker, showing how thick or thin any soft tissue. So they cannot tell whether you're fat or skinny. They can't tell you whether your lips is thin or big. They cannot reduplicate soft tissue. They cannot tell you what color your eyes is or none of that. So for the fact that they picked up that goddamn skull out the ground and made all the, you know, the, you know, the early types, hominoids and shit, looking black and shit, this, that, and the third, they did that shit on their own racist motherfucking narrative. You know what I'm saying? And I know what they doing. You know what I'm saying? So if I happen to go off on your white ass, then it's just going to be what it is. Because I'm hot. Even when I start doing this motherfucking research, I got hot. You understand? So looking at Charles Darwin, you understand what I'm saying? Who brought this theory forth. And, you know, it, it, it's been a theory. He, he the one that gave it some so-called scientific merit. You see what I'm saying? Not scientific for the white man to be in control. It's scientific for the white man to be in power. You understand what I'm saying? And so you got this so-called evolutionary process and that, you know, the, the species is moving towards perfection and the white man is, is, is uh, the perfect specimen of the species you understand and nature is you know wiping out the imperfection eugenics is where the white man is saying we not gonna wait on nature to do we gonna put in place some operations and programs to speed up the goddamn process that's really what eugenics is saying you understand what i'm saying and reality is we went over everything if the race is, is moving towards perfection, which I will show you that is not, that it was already in the most perfect state. So this is not about evolution, it's about de-evolution. It's not no evolution, it's de-evolution. You understand, the African is the supreme pinnacle of all types on the planet. I'm not gonna, we're not related, and I don't, I don't have no, no problem in saying that. Whatever happened, it was a hideous, scientific uh backfire where they didn't did something and, and it nature is correcting itself but when it comes to the natural type humanoid on this planet walking on this planet it's the african and everything was created perfect just like you see that goddamn solar system out there it's perfect from the very goddamn be beginning and from the african is is whatever happened we don't we see some key you know, factors in what happened. We don't know the whole story because, you know, wherever he come from, that's not our origin. We was in Africa doing great things and then out of nowhere comes an anomaly, you know, which is the European and he has a propensity to be very, very savage, you know, showing his animalistic nature. So it says, so a man think of in his heart, so is he because my, the question I'm asking like, 
why would the fuck, you know, of all the things you could think of, why would a motherfucker say he come from a monkey? So we got to go deep, deep into the psyche of European people, because this is what you call uh, projection. You understand what I'm saying? When you project really the feelings you have about yourself on other people. It's just like uh, what they call uh, the story of the fox and the grapes. You understand what I'm saying? It's a story, it's an Aesop fable talking about a fox walking through the woods and a jungle and he looks up and he sees some grapes on the damn tree. And he wanted them grapes so bad. And so he took two, three steps back and took off running and jumped up and tried to get the grapes, but he missed. Okay, so he said, damn, I missed. So he goes back three, four more steps and take off running real fast and he jumps up and God damn it, he missed again. So he goes back 10 more steps. He said, God damn it, I'm gonna take off so fast and I'm gonna run so hard. And he did, as soon as he got close, he jumped up and God damn it, he missed it again. And when he missed it the third time, you know what the fox said? He said, well, God damn it, they must be sour anyway. He degradated something that he was really trying to obtain. And then at the end, when he could not achieve it, he, de he degradated it. Okay, so they wanted to be black. They wanted to be black. They try to be black every goddamn day, some day of the summer when they go out there and did. But when they went out there and tried to be black, that sun burnt the shit out of them. So there is the uh, origin of sour grapes. You know what? You know the you know trying to achieve what they know. You understand they cannot achieve. And so if the races was moving towards perfection, why would the fuck we evolve out of melanin? You understand in a solar center galaxy. You understand what I'm saying? That's not no goddamn evolution that's de evolution you lost a key element to be able to exist on the planet and then i'm gonna get off into uh the uh birth rates where it is ever you all the goddamn european and many of the asian nations have a negative birth rate it is you know existence is about procreation that's that's the key to life is procreation. So how the fuck could we evolve into a, uh, they evolve as the uh, uh, the pedigree of the, uh, of the species and they in a negative goddamn birth rate on the verge of going into existence. When a man is disconnected from the creator and has nothing to gain from spirituality, he will come up with sick kind of theories, uh, uh, you know, and again, even when we're talking about uh, for cynic reconstruction, even the dinosaur, you see what I'm saying? I must say that. Just because you find some bones, nigga, you can't put no tissue on it and this, that, and the third and reconstruct the motherfucker. It's a lot, a lot of limitation to reconstructing bones. You understand what I'm saying? So in reality, a lot of them goddamn dinosaurs they made them look like whatever the fuck they wanted them to look like. In reality, we don't even know if them was motherfucking dinosaurs. Okay? Now, you see right here. They letting you know. So a man think of in his heart, so is he. You see how the other motherfucker d ball? See, when you're talking about creation, you understand creation has laws that, you know, is eternal. You understand what I'm saying? I don't, you know, it's a lot of people say there's more than one sun out there. I'm not worried about the other ones. I'm worried about that one I see out in the motherfucking sky right now. You understand what I'm saying? That, that you know, that sun set, that sun rises. That's an eternal law. You understand? And if that law is, is not in place, the, this galaxy in which we living in, everything of life going to die in this goddamn galaxy. OK, so when you're talking about laws like that, you know, eternal laws, cosmic laws, they don't just disappear. And you know what I'm saying? There's rules to the laws. And, you know, because there's rules, there's sequence and there's order, you can damn near tell time by the laws of the universe. So 
when you look at the clock on your phone or the clock on your wall, that motherfucker sequence to the sun and the moon. That's what it's sequenced to. Okay? Now you can look at a clock, and many people will say that a clock is a scientific creation. So if the clock is a sign, and we know that it takes consciousness, it takes consciousness to create scientific inventions like that. Okay, it takes consciousness. It takes, you know what I'm saying? To create a clock, a scientific. So if the clock is synchronized to the sun and the moon, how is it that we gonna conceive that the universe is just by chance? If the goddamn, if, if the clock is scientific creation, what is the, the universe which the clock is synchronized to? Is it not also of consciousness, okay? You ain't just gonna have no order and no law without no consciousness. That's just not gonna happen. You understand? It's, it's an order to thing. And order takes consciousness, okay? And so this man has, again, has no stake in creation, so he has, you know, he has despiritualized creation and made up a bland fucking origin of just bang. You know, we're gonna get into the bang. Well, I, you know, if, if you in your motherfucking house and you just heard a bang and no, you looking around like, what the fuck was that? Because it ain't supposed to be no bangs just happening, no goddamn. When you hear a motherfucker, you say, bang? What bang? Ain't nobody in this bitch but me. So if you in the house by yourself and you just hear a bang, you like, wait a minute, motherfucker, something ain't it's happening in this bitch. Ain't it's something happening that, that ain't supposed to be happening. You see what I'm saying? So, you know, just to have a goddamn bang, we're going to get off into it. You can't have no bang without no chemical process happening. You understand what I'm saying? That's a chemical process to have a bang. If you got a firecracker, you got a goddamn bomb. You got to put the necessary motherfucking components, chemicals in that, you know, whether it's a firecracker or whatever, and light, even lighting the motherfucking wick, the fire. The wick is a part of the process. You understand what I'm saying? So it takes consciousness to put a fire and make a firecracker. That's a scientific invention. You know, firecrackers, niggas didn't have gunpowder and shit like that. So when niggas started, you know, people started making firecrackers, which led to bombs, that's scientific. So when you say bang, and you say, well, goddamn, where did the bang come from? You know what I'm saying? Where did the fuck the bang? You just cannot have a bang without the chemical, you know, the, the chemicals that make the bang. You understand what I'm saying? So it was something before the goddamn bang. Nothing produces nothing. If you put a motherfucking clean sheet of paper on that motherfucking table and you don't take the time from your brain and your mind to put something on that motherfucking paper, it's nothing going to be on the goddamn paper. Now, if you just look at the goddamn paper and you just see words, you know, miraculously appearing on some shit, you tell somebody that, man, they'll call you crazy than a motherfucker because they know that nothing comes from nothing. And if you see words are written on a paper, then you would conceive that a human being with the mind that they have and their consciousness wrote the goddamn words on the paper. So from nothing, leave nothing, okay? Social degradation. Now, a lot of people already had the theory. It's called social degradation. It was a widely influential concept at the interface of, of the social and biological sciences in the 19th century. Degener uh, the degenerationists feared that civilization might be in decline and that the causes of decline lay in biological change. Okay then, so when I start, when we start cracking on this shit, understand that Europeans already concede because that's the laws of opposites. See, if you're going to, con if you're going to consider evolution, Based on the laws of opposites, you got to also consider the evolution. That's just only fair. That's the balance of the universe. You see what I'm saying? Can't go both goddamn ways. You know what I mean? One way, I mean. It got to be a balance of both ways. In order to prove evolution, 
human evolution, you must prove Big Bang. It takes a collision or a chemical reaction to make a bang. It takes a collision. You hear two goddamn cars or you the plane crash down to the goddamn earth. That's the only way you're going to have a bang. So it takes a, a collision of two objects or a, a chemical reaction to make a bang. So where the fuck did the bang come from? You mean to tell me out of nothing, you could conceive that boom and all these stars and, you know, and, and all the goddamn uh, elements that's in the universe all happen out of nothing. You see what I'm saying? And also based on uh, the laws of opposite, if you can consider that there was creation, you must also consider that it, the universe may have always been here. OK, because the reality is no human being on this planet ever seen the world when it was not here. Where the fuck was you at if you saw the world create? So the reality is the world has always been here as long as humanity been on this motherfucking planet. So nobody has ever, 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 ever seen the world when it was not here. So creation. It's still a theory. Any type of, it's still a theory, but it's one that's workable with the harmony of the universe. Even though we know it's some things that's beyond us at this time, it may be beyond us forever. We still got to work in accordance with the harmony of the damn universe. So we're not going to create no, no crazy shit that's going to take us out of the harmonious uh, uh, sequence of the universe. So where the hell did the bang come from? That's that, that right there, even before, because this is what started the silly shit off, even in dealing with the goddamn monkeys. You understand what I'm saying? So you see right here, you see a firecracker, boom. And you see the motherfucker bang, okay? You need a chemical re reaction to make a bang. So again, we're going to ask if, and they saying that the universe come out of nothing. OK, it comes out of nothing. That's impossible. You see what I'm saying? The reality is when you look at the ancient Egyptian creation story and you see Gab down there and you see, he, you know, he long and strong now and you see mama up there. You understand what I'm saying? That's the big bang was, you know, the cosmic orgasm. See, they're not talking. See, they done took some of our sign, our spirituality, and they despiritualized it. Big Bang is the despiritualized, unscientific theory of the cosmic orgasm of Gab and Newt. That's what it is. So the Big Bang is that. It's the orgasm. The cosmic orgasm of Gab and Newt that created the universe. See, we working now. See, we now we understanding why they need an evolution story. Because they ain't got, they know we the gods and goddesses are this, we the natural, you know, humanoid, and whatever, and I'm using that in that sense, you know, the original, the natural, natural hominoid of the earth. Okay? Now, the only way to prove the Big Bang Theory is to re recreate it. That's science. That's what science is about. Your theory, recreating your theory and proving all the elements of your theory by resulting in the bottom line. And if if, if you saying that you know you know the, the 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 universe came out of this bang and this that and the third and and it was nothing and this that and the third and however you said it happened, you supposed to take those elements and those steps and recreate it and do it again and do it a goddamn thing you understand what i'm saying and if you cannot do it again based on the methodology that you laid out then it's not a, a true theory it's not a true hypothesis you see what i'm saying do it again the using of cold words to hide the hideous plan to exterminate now that was uh again we were just talking about that you know, and I'm going to push that down some, you know, because that go down here. Let me push that down some. That go down here. That go down here. 
when they started, you know, you know, let me come back on up. Let me come back on up. Let me come back on up. Now, this is now you're looking at a this is a scientific replica of the original. And it takes consciousness to create that, you know, it's a it's, it's a, 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 a a model of the galaxy. And if you turn it on and it starts spinning around, this, that, it takes consciousness to put that's a machine. That's a machine, the mechanism up under it to make it go around and around. That's a scientific replica of the original. But how is this, you know, we know that it would take consciousness to create that machine right there. And we'll say that this machine right here is science and, and that it, would it takes consciousness to create that machine. But then when we come to the, the, the original, the grandest creation of all, uh, the replica was, you know, and the replica was patterned after the original, how is the replica lauded as a scientific model and the original is taught happen by chance? If it took science and it took consciousness to make this model of the original, how is this considered scientific? How is it considered that this was created by consciousness? And then you come over here and you look at the, the, the grandest uh, creation of all, the universe, the galaxy, and say that it happened by chance. See, we got to look at this shit. We got to look through the shit that they said to us. Okay, let's move. So creation and evolution are theories because unless we can go back and prove any one of them, understand what I'm saying? We're looking at elements in nature. You know what I'm saying? We see that, you know, we can see how we come from our mama. We can prove that. But when we're talking about the greatest creation of all, which is the universe, nobody was here, you know, before this world, you know, before this world was created. You understand what I'm saying? So you don't have no eyewitness account of how it was created. So creation and uh, evolution are theories. But I'm, I, you know, and so even then you have to take into account that the universe very well may have always been here. It may have always been here. And that's hard for people to accept too. You understand what I'm saying? That's the laws of nature are eternal. They just don't go away. So if, if evolution was a law of nature, what happened to it? Just like Pharaoh said, what happened to it? You understand? It takes a man and a woman to come together to have a baby. That's the law of nature. It, just, it ain't gonna go nowhere. You understand what I'm saying? They now they going doing some unnatural shit today, cooking nigga in 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 uh you know test tubes and shit. That's unnatural, though. You understand? That's why when they ass get a disease and shit, they ass die immediately. And then a lot of times when they create shit like that, that shit only live for a couple of days. They got all type of crazy ass shit out there where they splicing genes and shit. And they, I seen it on the motherfucking YouTube of all types of animals that they trying to bring back, you know, by putting other, you know, you know what they believe are modern uh, uh, relatives of uh, 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 an extinct animal and shit. And they're going to, you know, splice the genes to bring it back. That's unnatural. You know what I'm saying? So if evolution is a natural law, then it should be some sequence in order to that law that we can measure, that we can measure. And based on, you know, and once we measure it, we can speak, you know, profoundly about what evolution is. OK, what are the laws of and what is truly, you know, when we again, when we look out at the sun, we can measure it. Twelve hours up, twelve hours down. You understand what I'm saying? We can measure that. You know what I'm saying? So where is evolution going? You know what I'm saying? What is the direction of evolution? And if it is to uh, push creation towards perfection, then we should be able to prove that. Is creation moving towards perfection? And the answer is hell no. Nigga, we is on the way out. We, 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 
every fucking thing that we doing based on the fucking news and everything is endangering the motherfucking planet. So it's in danger putting all these goddamn chemicals in the goddamn air, having all these goddamn bombs where you can destroy the whole goddamn planet. You understand diseases all over the guy got cloning ass animals, poison all in the fucking water. You understand? Is that evolution? You understand? Evolution is a, if it was or not, it's a natural process that you know has nothing to do with economics, has nothing to do with military advancement. It's the natural living ability of the animals and humanoids on this planet to live with, with just, you know, in harmony with creation. You know, understand what I'm saying? With, in harmony with creation. Laws of opposites demand if we consider evolution that we must also consider de-evolution. It is, is the more likely probability that the African is the premier pinnacle and superior man on the planet and all other forms of mankind is degenerate, animalistic, foreign monkey types polluting the planet, okay? Now let's move. What dictates the laws and direction of evolution? Now, since there is no laws, I can ask the question, since the white man don't have a pineal gland, can he evolve back in if he didn't never have one can he evolve back into having a pineal gland you see what i'm saying because you need one motherfucker how is you not and how is you uh uh uh, the, uh you know pushing towards perfection and you burning because this is a solar galaxy this is a solar galaxy the solar system so how in the fuck is you in a solar system without the main component a, a, a hominoid, which is a pineal gland to produce melanin so you can survive on the planet. How is that possible? So if evolution is what they say it is, the question I'm going to ask is can the white man evolve back into having a pineal gland? Okay? Who decides if it's going forward or backwards? See, that's the question. See, that's where politics come into play. That's why I say evolution or de-evolution. Who decides if it's going forward or backwards, you know, or backwards? You know who? The man who's in power. Okay, the man who's in power. That's why these niggas, everything the white man say, these niggas back it up. These niggas ain't nothing but cool Negroes. You understand what I'm saying? Signifying monkeys. And that's exactly what he is, signifying monkey. Everything he do, the, the nigga gonna back it up and put a, and put a stamp on it. Why would man evolve into the absence of melanin? How is the lack of melanin advancing the human race? You understand what I'm saying? Why would man evolve into a negative birth rate? How is it a, a, a how is a negative birth rate advancing the human race? How is having more old humans than young advancing the human race? You you moving towards extinction. You see what I'm saying? Can the white man, when I already went over there, can the white man evolve back, back into a pineal gland? If evolution was a natural law, why isn't it still happening? Did it shut itself off? Okay, if it happened, did it, if it's not happening, did it shut itself off? Now, if it shut itself off, can it turn itself back on? Okay, and if it could turn itself back on, in order to shut itself off and turn itself back on, it has to be conscious. That's a conscious con because it's turning itself off. It's turning itself back on. And the question becomes, was it ever on? You understand? Was it ever on? Is this a, a this is a made up concept because we're not moving towards uh, perfection. We were already perfect. We were already perfect. The, the uni when the universe, when we open our eyes, as African people, and we don't know when we are. We've been here as long as the goddamn planet. Nobody has ever, you know, can go to our birth record when we was born. We've been here as long as this goddamn planet been here, okay? And you know what I'm saying? We can't go to our birth record and say when we got here. You understand what I'm saying? Nobody could do that. Life always produces life, okay? That's a fact. So you, we know ain't no monkey gonna produce no motherfucking nigga. You, a few, 
If you kiss a guy, which they do, you get all type of goddamn diseases. Any motherfucking foreign animal or this, some of these niggas, some of these crackers. You understand what I'm saying? You can't get close to these motherfuckers. These motherfuckers got lice all in their goddamn hair and this, that, and the third. Shit that we don't have, they got. You understand what I'm saying? So you cannot take no foreign element and recreate something outside of that element. You understand what I'm saying? You can only produce what it is. You plant an apple seed, you're going to get an apple tree. You plant an apple orange seed, you're going to get an orange. Okay? You ain't going to plant an apple seed and get a goddamn banana. Or you understand? Or you plant some corn and get some goddamn strawberries. Your motherfucking DNA is already pre-coded. It's pre-coded. Everything is that's the sequence. And that's why when your ass step out of order, which is chaos, the goddamn punishment is almost immediate. I don't give a fuck. Just like a fish out of motherfucking water. That's a natural law. I don't give a fuck. That's a natural law. I don't want to hear nothing about a goddamn whale was a human or or whatever this, that, and the third, or this, or that the whale came out the water. Anytime a whale come out, you can see a beach whale, that bitch dead. Okay, so if the motherfucking whale or fish or anything came out the goddamn water, I mean, just imagine that. It came out the water onto the land, okay? And how, how many times did the motherfucker come out and die almost instantly you understand what I'm saying? If a whale come out, that bitch die every motherfucking time. Because if you stay out of water too goddamn long, and I don't know how long, you die almost instantly. You understand what I'm saying? You take a fish out of water and leave that bitch on, on land, that motherfucker going to die within an a hour or less than that, half an hour. Or you know what I'm saying? That bitch going to stop. So how... The fuck do you imagine something coming out of water and coming on to fucking land and being able to survive? You understand what I'm saying? How? I don't give a fuck. You, it's unbelievable to believe some shit. Even if it's a variation in the light, light will always produce light. You understand what I'm saying? The variations in African people is the different uh, skin tone. Even our heights, you got the little twat, you got the tall Watusi. You understand? But we are Africans. You see, we all originated on that continent, whether it was south, whether it was north, whether it was east, whether it was west. The first, you know, our oldest home is on that continent amongst all those variations. The only variations you don't see is the motherfuckers you see in Asia and Europe. Those are not a part of the life. That's why. The punishment is almost immediate when you go to South Africa and all the countries where they ass is living, criminally taking the land. You see they got high levels of skin cancer. OK, when you come out of your natural habitat, that's what the fuck happens. OK, intelligent. Intelligence produces intelligence and. Consciousness produces consciousness. Ignorance produces ignorance. If you sit up with a hundred ignorant ass niggas, take a baby, and you raise that baby with a hundred and uh, ignorant niggas, and go back 18 years from now, you're going to have a hundred and one ignorant ass niggas. You know why? Because ignorance produces ignorance. If a motherfucker, if you take 10 motherfuckers that have not, don't know how to write, you understand what I'm saying? Don't even know how to speak that good. And you take a baby and you take and let them grow up with that, them ignorant, 10 ignorant motherfuckers and go back in 18 years, you're going to have another motherfucker, 11 motherfuckers that cannot write, can barely speak. Ignorance produces ignorance. You see what I'm saying? Consciousness produces consciousness. So if we conscious today, what if, 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 we, if it was creation, what was before us? Shouldn't it also be co consciousness? Because nothing, you cannot get something from nothing. That's just not going to happen. That's just not going to happen. That's just not going to, you motherfuckers, you know, if you've been in college, I've been in college. And you can have that 30 motherfucking page paper. And I didn't see motherfuckers, you know, you know, try 
to, you know, not get on that paper early. You know what I'm saying? And motherfucker, you know, and you wait to the very last minute. You understand? You know what happened? You ain't got no paper, nigga. You ain't got no paper. You understand? Because that's ignorant. You understand what I'm saying? You don't even know the sequence and order of putting that shit together. When you see somebody put that paper together and they got that A on it, then you you didn't you didn't uh you didn't win a, you didn't uh perform the order. You didn't put what's the order? Getting the research material, making the studying. You understand what I'm saying? Studying all the reference material, you know, writing it out, typing it out, all the whole process is constant.